Hi there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another day of Kit Conspiracy. Today is our regular day of posting, Friday, Sunday, and Tuesday. And we are using Pretty Little Studios Sunkissed Collection. I am using this paper that already has all of these strips of paper on it or printed on it, and I think it's absolutely beautiful. I I considered cutting those apart and doing something different with them, but I decided to go ahead and leave it, and I'm taking this uh, additional piece of paper that has what looks like border strips on it and I am fussy cutting out the scalloped pieces on it to use on the background that I currently have sitting on my desk. So doing something a little bit different but not uh, anything too wild and crazy because this paper is already super cute and um, I just didn't I didn't want to cut it up you guys. I love the mixed media behind all of those strips and I just wanted to add to it. So the two photos are of my niece's two girls and is on the day of her baby shower but I'm not really documenting these as baby shower um, photos. I am just documenting them as sisters and you know life and just an everyday little glimpse of the two of them sitting in their little chairs and kind of goofing off together. So I have fussy cut out this yellow scallop and the kind of tealy green scallop there. And I don't have any more strips left in full, but I am going to use this green scallop and I'm going to put it against um, one of the other border strips that I had I cut the scallop out of already. Um, it's got some pink on it. You're gonna see it here in just a moment. I'm going to use it as a template to cut another scalloped piece. So here's the leftovers. I cut the scallop out of this pink one already, but I'm just going to take a pen and mark it and um, cut another scallop out of it. So it's not going to waste and I'm going to keep that butterfly on it. I think that's super cute. I am inking up my pieces with some black distress ink because I think all of these layouts need something to kind of ground them and the the addition of the black really helps with that, at least for my eyes. I know I could probably go without it, but I just really liked the addition of the black. And I found this really great ribbon or fiber at um, Hobby Lobby, and it's kind of a really wide scallop. And I don't want a ton of it showing, but I do want to use it to back my scallop areas. So I'm auditioning them, just kind of checking it out and seeing what I want to do. I'm going to trim this butterfly down just a little bit more uh, around his little antenna, um, clean that up a little bit, and then I'm going to go ahead and back these all with that um, scallop black, I don't know, fiber from Hobby Lobby. And I did just get these like a week and a half ago, so they are current products at Hobby Lobby, um, and you would probably be able to find them in the fabric section. They're not in the scrapbooking area, they're in the fabric section. So I'm using my Liquid Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive to go ahead and adhere everything down in case I want to go ahead and sew them onto my page. Um, the Nouveau really does help because it doesn't leave a sticky residue like a dry tape would do. And then my needle doesn't get gummed up. So I'm just using my acrylic block to kind of hold these in place while they set up and kind of get attached to the black uh, fiber there. I think they look really cute. I don't need the fibers to show a ton. I just like the outline of it. You can tell it's a scallop, but it's not like in your face or anything like that. And I think it's re really cute. So I, I just decided to go ahead and go with it. I did back my photos both with black paper uh, just to give an added pop to those photos and I am placing my scallops so that the bottom photo will sit on the scallop and you'll still be able to see it all the way uh, from one side to the other but my top one since it's really short um, it's going to look like it just continues underneath my photo and I like the way that that looks as well. I did take everything over to my sewing machine and I did some stitching on them to hold them in place and I just really love the addition of the thread and the texture that it brings to the layout. So that's really fun. I pulled all of my strings through the back. I'm adhering them down with a little bit of washi 
just so that they don't come loose and they don't get caught up when you go to slide them in and out of the page protector. So I'm using the title Life is Simple. For this particular layout, I am tucking in some of the tickets and tabs in the upper right hand corner just to bring a little bit across the page there. I haven't decided 100% where my title's gonna go. I'm kind of just playing around with that. And then I'm playing around with a couple of the little animals because I've got the butterfly and it's already attached to the pink. I decided to bring in something turquoise to the turquoise area and yellow to the yellow area. So I brought in the ye little yellow duck and this blue, this turquoisey bird. And I think they're super cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and add those. I am adding some foam dots underneath my photos and normally I would just use my fun foam, but it is a little bit too thick. I really just need to make up the difference in height with the black uh, fiber I've got there and these dots seemed to do the trick. So that's why I decided to use that instead of the fun foam and uh, that is a really good benefit of having foam in different thicknesses in your stash so that you can uh, use the one that is the right height for the project basically i think we've all heard that uh way back you know use the right tool for the job and that is kind of like the same thing here so um the only pain in the butt this about these is you got to remove all of those little tiny um non-stick pieces off the top of them it just is time consuming but you know it works and i really like the way that it doesn't make my photos higher than they need to be <clears throat> so i'm just adding a couple more to support those tickets and then i'm playing around with which duck i wanted i thought about using the duck with the little green hat but i decided not to because i the other ones are tone on tone and so i kind of wanted to do the same thing and not add uh, green over the pinkish pink and orange area there. And I like the way that this is looking so far. I'm just gonna play around with where I'm gonna put my title. It kind of looks off by itself, so I decided to put it right in the middle and kind of attach this ducky to it so that it looks like it's all one piece. And I like the way that that looks a lot better. And so that's what I'm gonna do. It's gonna go smack in the middle of the layout, which is very rare. I don't normally do that on my layouts. I just, um, you know, it's not usually the focal point of the layout is not the title but in this case it seemed to work best there so i'm just uh, popping some foam underneath my title as well for where it hangs off of the photos so that it has some support and uh, i'm liking how that is looking i want to make sure that the uh, bottom portion is also adhered down where it says simple and it does, isn't going to get caught on my page protector when I slide it in and out. And then lastly, I am just taking a couple of these black and white hearts and putting them on my layout just to bring in a, um, the simplicity of the black and white. And I think that looks good also. While I do that, don't forget to go check out what MK has going on on her channel today. This is our regular posting day for uh, Kit Conspiracy. And I will have one more layout for you on Tuesday. I'm a little bit uh, I didn't do extras this week with the holiday last week. Um, I just, time got away from me. And so you're just getting four using this collection. Hopefully I'll have time to do some more uh, coming up in December or January. And I will be able to share those with you in our Facebook group, which is linked down below. So you can go and check that out if that's of interest to you as well. I also have the link to MK's channel down there. So you can go and click on that so you can see what she's done I will be back on Tuesday. If you enjoyed this video, I would love a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, I'd love for you to subscribe as well. And then come back on Tuesday and see me then. If you hit the bell for notifications, you will get notified when I release that video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.